hello what's up guys in this video I am going to show you how you can create a beautiful cleaning company website using WordPress I want to show you the demo of what we are going to create in in this tutorial so that you can decide if you want to see the whole tutorial or you don't want to see it's totally your choice but you can see that what I have created I am using a WordPress theme called duster I will show you how you can purchase the domain and hosting how you will install the WordPress theme and required plugins then I will show you how you can import the demo data here and then we will see how you, how we can customize these home page and the other pages for this tutorial purpose I am going to create these specific pages named as home about testimonials then we have some of the services pages and then project page blog and contact page at the end of the tutorial I'll be showing you how you can set up the responsiveness of your own website so if you like this demo please stay tuned and let's get started so guys the first step is that we require a domain and hosting in order to create our cleaning company website so what we are going to do is we're going to purchase a domain and hosting for our website for that I recommend you to purchase the domain and hosting from siteground.com just simply enter siteground.com and you will land to this website then you will have to click on this web hosting click on get started you will see these three options I recommend you to go with grow big plan because you will get a special discount here you just simply need to click on get plan button when you click on that then you will you will have the option to register the new domain you will have to enter your domain name here so for this purpose we are creating a cleaning co demo cleaning go let's say okay you will have to click on proceed button and then it will take you to this web page it will notify you that the domain you have chosen is available for registration with your hosting account so you will have to enter your email password and confirm your password then you will have to enter your informations and your payment informations this is your purchase history for the uh, time being the total bill is 95.88 dollars these include the hosting for one year and domain as well once you will enter your all of these information then you will click on this pay now button and you will successfully purchase this domain and hosting I have already purchased a domain and hosting so I am skipping the tutorial from here so once you have purchased a domain and hosting from SiteGround, you must have received an email containing the information of your logins. There should be the login username and password. The, once you receive them, then you have to come to SiteGround.com again and you will have to click on login button. Once you click on that, you will enter your email and password and it will bring to the client area or your dashboard. You will see an option that says create and migrate your website just like this and there will be a button that says set up site. You will have to click on that button set up site. Once you click on that then a new pop up will appear that will say start a new website or migrate website. You will have to click on start new website and then click on continue. Then you will have another option that will ask you which of the builders you want to use. You will have to simply choose WordPress simply select that and click on finish that's all you have to do and it will automatically install the WordPress for you please ensure that you will save your WordPress dashboard login credentials including your username and password because you will definitely need them so this is how you will simply install your WordPress in SiteGround so once you have installed the wordpress you will then be able to log into this dashboard
this is called WordPress dashboard and we have ton of options here that we are going to use just in few minutes so if you want to see the front end of your website you will simply hover over there and click on visit site and you can check the front end of your website this is called the front end and this one is called the back end of website so first of all we are going to install the theme so you will click on this appearance and then hover on themes and click on themes once you do that click on add new and click on the upload theme choose file I already have theme file the theme that we are going to use is called duster but in the zip file you will find an other zip file of theme we need this zip file for now so I need to extract it in the folder so that I can use it so you can see here I have this theme file so once I have it I choose that file click on open and install new it will take some time and get installed in the WordPress respiratory you have ton of free WordPress theme that you can use but for now I am using a premium theme called duster this theme is also available on theme forest I can show you that the theme is already uploaded once it's uploaded you will have to click on activate it will get activated so you can see that our theme is successfully installed on our WordPress you can check this theme on theme forest if you want the theme name is duster and this is the demo this is the same demo that we are going to create in this tutorial so you can check that I'll provide you the URL for this theme as well once you install it click on begin installing plugins after installing the theme the next step is to install the plugins so you'll have to click on begin installing plugins you'll have to select all of these and click on install and click on apply it will get installed in a while once it will get installed we will require an other plugin called Elementor Pro okay we need Elementor Pro for additional functionalities in our website Elementor Pro is definitely not free but if you will purchase Elementor Pro it will definitely help you in any sort of websites I already have Elementor Pro so I'll go to plugins and click on add new and then I'll click on upload plugin and then choose file here I have Elementor Pro I'll choose the file and click on install new the uploading of this plugin may take some time depending upon the internet connection speed that you have so it gets uploaded I'll click on activate plugin and my Elementor Pro will get activated right after I'll install it so now I have all the necessary plugins that I require then I'll go to this appearance tab and click on install demo okay you will have to click on this import demo data button this will ask you that they require following plugins so it is totally fine you can install those plugins as well and click on continue and import I will provide you the URL of Elementor Pro as well so that you can purchase that I will also provide you the theme file for education purpose only so that if you want to try this theme by yourself you can try and make your own website for education purpose so the demo import is taking place it takes few, few minutes to import data so we'll wait for the time being our website looks like this and let's see how it will look once the demo content will be imported 
the demo content is already imported successfully and now we'll be able to check our website you can click on visit site button and you can notice that the changes are already made so you can see our demo is successfully imported but it is not like it is in the theme forest demo so what we'll need to do we'll need to set a few of the thing first of all we will change this logo and then we'll change menu and then we'll customize all of these pages so now we have the demo that I imported but we are unable to see the menus here so we'll have to fix that first and then we'll change the logo and then we'll customize the footer so in order to change the logo click on customize once you will click on customize this sort of customizer will appear it is loading right now so this is how the customizer looks like what you will have to do you will have to find an option that says site identity normally this includes the logo options so you'll have to click on select logo upload file select file and I have the logo file here click on open and the logo file will get open click on select and I only want this graphics to be appear as my logo if you want to use whole image as your logo you can do that but for now I want to crop the image so I'll click on crop image if you click on skip cropping then the whole image will set up as logo make sure your logo is transparent in background if you don't know how to make transparent background images what you can do is to search for transparent.io that is the name of website transparent.io this is the name of the website if I remember so it's taking some time so anyway you can go to this website to make your images a transparent image so when you are in customizer you will have to crop the image and now you will notice that the logo is changed now so our logo is changed you can change the site title here site titles means the name of the website you can change it here then the site tagline will go here if you want to show them you can show that but I do not want to show my site title and tagline here so I'll click on this then site icon site icon is also called fav icon I will choose my graphic as fav icon and you will see that these site icon or fav icon appear here so I'll click on crop image and my site site icon will get updated so next thing what we have to do is to go to menus and you notice that our menus are not appearing here so what we'll have to do is to click on view location and here you see the option that says main navigation click on select and click on main menu so when you will select main menu our menu will again start showing where they have to show so for now that is all that you have to do here and click on publish <clears throat> however if you want to change the colors you can change your colors here for now the colors are good and they are matching with my logos so I do not want to change the colors then you have option for header top bar colors these are all the color options then header image background image we do not need any of these as such now so I'll click on cross button now you can see we have menus showing here properly and our logo is showing properly then we have this search button here what I want to do is to edit the header let's see how we can edit the header in this theme so usually what you do you go to templates you can see we don't have any template in here which means this 
header is particularly created with this duster theme. So it says logo, we already have added our logo, but we can add one more time. Transparent logo, we already have our transparent logo created. We can add it here. Logo top space, logo bottom space, and login logo. Login logo means the logo that you will see when you will try to log in your website. Then next we have this layout option. We have general option, responsive. Turn on if you don't want your site to be responsive. I want my site to be responsive, to, so I will keep it turned off. I want preloader activated as well, full width or extra width. I want it full width. I don't want to see page comment, so I'll keep it as off. Then we have header options here. First of all, we have design option. Style 3 is implemented right now, which is absolutely fine. We can add a header call to action as well. Call to action text. Let's say we say appointments. You can add any sort of call to action that you want. Then you can add a link here for now. I am adding a hash here. Head search. We already have header search in here. So I'll click on save. When I click on save, let's see what happens. So now you can see we have appointment button which is called to action here. But because we have added this appointment button, our menus are not looking proper now. So we'll have to fix that first. So what we'll go what we will do, we'll come to this appearance and then click on menus. Once you click on menus, you will have to check if you have another menu. I have another menu that says main menu. I'll click on main menu and click on select. Once I select the main menu, now you can see we have all the items available in menus. So you can choose which items to be appear in your menus. For now, I want my home page to be as it is right now. So that is fine. I will remove all the other things from here. The what pages I need. Uh, I need an about page, a contact page, testimonial page. I don't need this one. I don't need a FAQ page. If you want, you can keep that, but I don't need them. I don't need 404 page and shop page. For the services tab, I want to use all of those four services, which, which are residential cleaning, office cleaning, window cleaning, and home cleaning for the projects. projects like what tasks you have completed recently. If you want to show them, you can uh, publish them in the project section. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. So I just want to keep them as they are for now and I will remove these drop downs from here. If you want to keep the blog section, you can keep that. But I'm removing other options from here. Then we already have added our contact page. I'm removing it from here so that it stays here. I don't need shop tab. If you want, you can keep that. But I'm creating it as simple business cleaning company website. So once I'm done with changes, what I'll do, I'll click on save menu. If you want, you can rearrange the menus by simply dragging them up and down any ways you like. So normally we have home page, services page, and then we have like project page, and then blog page, and then testimonials about and content. That is the sequence of menus that usually considered as converting menus, like your visitors know what they are browsing. So this is how our menus are looking right now. Our logo is here. Then we have menus and everything set it up here. So once our header is ready, next step we can do is to customize our footer. How we can customize our footer? We again have to go to duster options. Once we are here, you'll see an option for 
footer is somewhere here there it is footer we have visit areas we have four column widgets one two three four this is four column widget that's fine well uh, th this is footer background we already have footer background set it up and i'm fine with that so this is totally fine i think we'll have to go to customize in order to customize our footer because there are widgets in here that we can customize from here you will have to go to widgets section and there you can see the widgets that are available in footer so footer widget 1 this should include this logo and everything so here you can see we have some lorem ipsum i want to get rid of those so now you can see our section is removed what i want i want my logo to be appear here so what i'll do i will simply add an image widget and then i will choose my logo as the image then you will be able to see our logo here but you can see the quality is not very fine so for that reason i will get rid of this and i will use a different logo or you can use an icon as well anywhere that you that you like i will use this logo yeah the, this is quite fine then we have this you can customize this one from footer widget 2 you can see these are useful link section you can change your section from here if you will change this this is the title which is about us and if you want to add the link you can add your link here like i want to add the link of my about page so if i check my about page it is right here but what you need to do always keep in mind you will have to change the permalink structure to the post name this is very useful so that you don't have to copy the page ids and everything and you will be able to only use the page title as your permalink so the page title which i have is about and i want to update the link so href is equal to colon and add your link here uh, right here and now when you will click on about us it will take you to the about us page so likewise you can update the links in your quick link sections just like that and you can update all of those links in this similar fashion for the footer widget area 3 we have this section you can update them in the similar way simply you have to come here and you can update them then we have footer widget area 4 i don't want a newsletter here so i will simply remove it and now this is how our footer looks so this is fine i'll publish it and now this is how you can customize the header and the footer okay so our header and footer is now totally customized so next step what we are going to do is to see how we can edit and change or customize our home page so we have now customized the header and footer of the website and now we'll see how we can customize the home page so for that reason you will hover over this and go to dashboard once you will on the dashboard you will then click on pages and then you will have to locate the page name as home which also have the option called front page this means that this particular page is now the front page of the website as we have imported the data we have other home page styles have imported as well but we know we do not need them so i will simply delete that 
I also don't need this project style page and the sample page this one and this one I don't need service style 2 as well once they are selected I'll click on move to trash and they will all sent to trash I'll have a look on the other pages if there are any duplicate pages I'll get rid of them simply check and then click on move to trash and they will send to trash as well so we now have 12 items I will again check if I have any duplicate pages so that I can get rid of them and I will not re require any of those pages so there are those pages that we needed so we can now start customizing them so for for the starters we will start with the home page we will click on edit with elementor and you will click on edit, edit, edit with elementor this page will appear and now we are in editing mode here on the left hand side we have all the widgets available that we can use to customize our website and this is called the working area where we create our website we can place any of the widgets from there and bring them here and customize them if you click on any blank space you will see the name of the widget the current widget name is banner in this widget we it's better if i can show you how this is cre created i will select the banner image banner widget and paste it here now you can see this is looking similar to this but i want to change the background color of this widget to match this one so i already have the extension that called colorzilla this extension is used to copy the color codes from any web page so using that i'll grab the color code of this color and now this color code is here so i can copy the titles any way i like from the home page from the front page of the website i can copy them and then i can replace them in this widget for the background image we must have i think this is our background image this one is our hero section background image you may not seeing the changes in backend but they are definitely happening if you will check them on the front end so for the title i want it to be this and then for subtitle we have this 25 percent off and then i can add some of the text here you can use your own text here i just want to show you how you can edit these buttons so this is very first button text which says more about us you can write anything here that you like and you can replace your URL here I will replace the URL of my about page so that whenever someone will click on more about us they will go to about us page then we have an other button we want another button here that says our services okay so all right our services you can see that oh, we will have an other button here with the services when I will insert this so now you can see we have another button here and you can check that these two are similar now similar now so this is how you will create the hero section this is called the hero section this is how you will create the hero section then we have another services section tab you will click on this and here you can change the subtitle you can add the title here and we have another widget named services if you uh, if you drag your services widget here you will see a similar 
thing here there are listing option service read more button and carousel navigation okay then we have this about widget here you can add these widgets any way you like and then we have how it works widget and all the other things are here so this is how basically you create cleaning company website you can check the responsiveness by clicking on this button and you can check that a website is responsive already it may not looking pixel perfect responsive but when you will see it on your mobile device it is definitely responsive sometimes the editor do not show the correct things but you can see them in your front end of website so this is how you normally customize your home page once the home page is customized then what you can do you can customize other pages here so just as we customize the home page in the similar similar fashion we can customize all the service pages all the project pages i will show you how to add the blog posts in blog page the, uh, then in similar fashion you can add the testimonials in testimonial pages and about page in similar manner now in the contact page what you will have to do is to simply click on here edit with elementor when you will click on edit with elementor the website will start loading in elementor editing preview mode so once it's loaded you can see here it is a short code contact form 7 short code which is not working right now so what we'll have to do we'll have to move to here contact and you see we have configuration errors but that is fine because we have inputted the data we can create a new form copy the short code and we can paste our short code right here in fact we can choose our short codes from here you can see our form is appearing now and then you can replace your email here you can edit the emails here you can edit the phone numbers here and you can edit the address here and in order to change the map location you will simply click on this one and replace this text with your location and th that is how you will edit the contact page now let's see how you will add the blog post posts in the blog page currently we have many posts in the blog page section i just want to show you how you can add more posts so in the dashboard you will go to posts section and then you can click on add new once you click on add new the new window will appear where you can write the title of your blog post you can write the content in your blog post and you can add the image you can add categories you can add featured image and everything that you like in your post you can add your text title here then you can add the description here then if you want to add a category you can click on that and add the categories here you can if you want to create tags you can create tags here and you can add a feature image there once you have added all those you will have to click on publish button and all of the posts posts will get published let's see let's try to copy one of these blog posts so that you can see how this is all working i copy the title i'll paste the title here i copy the some of the content of this blog post from here and then I paste the content here now what I want I want to add a featured image for the blog post I'll click on Fe featured image button and I can use any of these image as my featured image of the blog post 
once that is done what you will have to do you will simply click on publish button and that is all your blog post is created you can see this is how your post is looking so this is how you add the posts in blog next up is project how you will add project this is simple you will simply have to go to this project tab once you are here you will click on add new and add your projects then for services you will simply click on service tab and click on add new so this is how you can create a beautiful cleaning company website that will actually convert that have call to action here that have all the services your projects your process about us testimonial and your pricing section so if you like this video please follow me on facebook and instagram and stay tuned for the next video subscribe to my youtube channel as well thank you very much